on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry, give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From thee let my vindication come, let the eyes see the right. If thou triest my heart, if thou visitest be my night. If thou testest me, thou find no wickedness in me, my mouth does not transgress. With regard to the work of men, by the word of thy lips I have avoided the way of the violent. My steps have held fast that I pass, my feet have not slipped. I call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me, O God, incline thine ear to me, and hear my words. Wondrously show thy steadfast love, O Savior, those who seek refuge from their adversaries at the right hand. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me in the shadow of thy wings. From the wicked who despoil my, my deadly enemies who surround me, they close their hearts to pity with their mouths, they speak arrogantly, they track me down, now they surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground, they are like a lion eager to tear a young lion lurking in ambush. Arise, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them, deliver my life from the wicked by thy sword, from men by thy hand. O Lord, from men whose portion in life is of the world, may their belly be filled with what thou hast stored up for them, may their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their babes. As for me, I shall behold thy face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with beholding your form. To thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul, my God, and thee I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not the enemies exalt over me. Yea, let none that wait for me be put to shame. Let them be ashamed or wantly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Be mindful of thy mercy, O Lord, and of thy steadfast love, for they have been of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions according to thy steadfast love. Remember me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right. He teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? And will he instruct in the way that he should choose? He himself shall abide in prosperity, his children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever to the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of that. Turn now to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many of my foes are with violent hatred, they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me, let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for thee. Redeem me, Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy me, O God, according to thy steadfast love, according to the abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. And see thee only by sin and have done which is evil in thy sight, so that justified in thy sentence and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin. My mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. For teach me wisdom, my secret heart. Purge me with this, but I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness at the bones which you are broken. Rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of salvation. Uphold me with a willing spirit, then I will teach transgressors their ways, and sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from thy guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice, where to give a burnt offering, they will not be pleased. Sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God. Thou will not despise, do good design on thy good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then will the delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on thy altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and in two ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By your cross you destroyed death. To the thief you opened paradise. For the marrow bearers you changed weeping into joy. And you commanded your disciples of Christ to God to proclaim that you had risen, granting the world great mercy. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, you art the true vine that has put forth the fruit of life. We pray to you, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy may be granted to our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day, and may the God of our salvation prosper us, for he is the God of, the God of our salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, your mercy in us, Lord, cleanse from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions, holy one, visit and heal infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. When you, O God, shall come to earth with glory, all things shall tremble, and the river of fire shall flow before your judgment seat. The books shall be opened and hidden, things disclosed, and deliver me from the unquenchable fire, and make me worthy to stand at your right hand, O righteous judge. Lord, uh, Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. You who are at every season, every hour, and in heaven on earth are worshiped and glorified. O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who loves the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who calls all salvation to the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil, and distress. Help us as about with your holy angels and guided and guarded by them. May attain to you faith and to the knowledge of the unapproachable glory, for you are blessed in two ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and two ages of ages, amen. More honorable than cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. O God, the Master, O Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, O only begotten Son, O you, Holy Spirit, one God, had one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner. And according to your divine judgment, save me, your unworthy servant. For blessed are you in two ages of ages, amen.
Blessed is our God who is now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord guide our steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember us in his kingdom now and always and forever and, to, and ever. Glory to God in the highest and on earth is good will to man. Glory to God in the highest and on earth is good will to man. Glory to God in the highest and on earth is good will to man. O Lord, you will open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. O Lord, you will open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Standing in temple of your glory, we feel as though in heaven of Theotokos, heavenly gate, open for us the door of your mercy. Echo kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. above and for the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord Lord for the peace of whole world for the stability of the Holy Church of God and for the unity of all let us pray to the Lord for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord for Metropolitan Tika, our Bishop Nikadi. And for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the president, all those in public service, our armed forces, as well as American nation and Albanian nation, let us pray to for every city and land and for the faithful who live in them let us pray to the Lord for favorable weather for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord Lord for those who travel, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, anger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious 
Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. In thy kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you and men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice! dead, O Son of God, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. At the on your cross you destroy death. To the thief you open to joy, and you commanded your disciples of Christ God to proclaim that you are risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, when you shall come to earth with glory, all things shall tremble, and the river of fire shall flow before your judgment seat. The books shall be open and hidden things disclosed, then deliver me from the unquenchable fire. And make me worthy to stand at your right hand, O righteous judge. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Ray shining forth from your lips like a beacon as in light in the universe. It has shown to the world the riches of poverty. It has revealed to us the heights of humility, teaching us by your words, O child of John Chrysostom, intercede before the word Christ our God to save our souls. For you are holy, our God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. 
and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, Prokimanon in the third tone. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond Understanding is beyond measure. Word and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, food will not commend us to God. We are no worse off if we do not eat, and no better off if we do. Only take care lest the liberty of yours somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For if anyone sees you, a man of knowledge, at table in an idol's temple, might he not be encouraged if his conscience is weak to eat food offered to idols? And so by your knowledge this man is destroyed, the brother from whom Christ died, thus sinning against your brethren and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, food is a cause of my brother's falling. I will never eat, lest I cause my brother to fall. Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are you not my brothership in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, at least I am to you. For you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. Peace be with you, Lord, And to your spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
Come, let us rejoice in the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the Lord our Savior. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Then he will sit on the throne of his glory. And before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate them one from another, as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, blessed of my father, pay possession of the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you covered me. Sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the just will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or feed you, or thirsty, or give you to drink? And when did we see you a stranger, and take in you in, or naked, and clothe you? And when did we see you sick, or in prison, and come to you? And answering, the king will say to them, Amen, I say to you, every time you did it for one of these, the least of my brethren, you did it for me. Then he will say to those on his left hand, Go away from me, accursed ones, into the everlasting fire, which was prepared for the devil in his and his ministers. For I was hungry, and you did not give me to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and, I, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty? or a stranger, or naked, or sea, or in prison, and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, saying, Amen, I say to you, as long as you did not do it for one of these least ones, you did not do it for me. And this will go into everlasting.
shall be gathered together, Jesus says, all nations, that is, the whole race of men, and he shall separate them, them one from another as the shepherd his sheep. From, for now they are not separated, but all mingled together. But the division then shall be made with all exactness. And for a while it is by their place that he divides them and makes them manifest. Afterward, by the names, he indicates the dispositions of each, calling the one kids, the other sheep, that he might indicate the unfruitfulness of the one. For no fruit will come from kids, and the great profit from the other, for indeed from sheep is great is the profit, as well from the milk, as from the wool, and from the young, of all which things the kid is destitute. But while the brutes have from nature their unfruitfulness and fruitfulness, these have it from choice. Wherefore, some are punished, and the others crowned, and he does not punish them until he has pleaded with them. Wherefore, also, when he has put them in their place, he mentions the charges against them, and they speak with meekness, but they have no advantage from it now, and very reasonably, because they passed by a work so much to be desired, for indeed the prophets are everywhere. Saying this, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Hosea 6.6, 6, and the lawgiver, by all means, urged them to this, both by words and by works, and nature herself taught it. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. upon us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Metropolitan Deacon and our Bishop Nicodemus, for all of our celebrants in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, prosperity, and salvation of our relatives, friends, and the celebrants of this temple, as well as Father Joseph, the people in Ukraine, the people in Gaza and Israel, Paula, Peter David, Peter Priest, Vladimir, Susan, Virginia, Terry, Ellen, Gerald, Eugene, Julio, Stephanos, Virginia, Dimitri, Elias, Pandeli, Lefteri, all of the men and women serving in the armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy temple, for all of our ancestors, relatives, friends, and the celebrants of this temple who departed this life before us, as well as Archbishop Nikon, Brother Presbyter Arthur, Priftaresha, Priftaresha Olga, the victims in Ukraine, the victims in Gaza and Israel, Andrew, Victoria, Rudina, Carl, Dorothy, Robert, Larry, James, Paul, Ernie, Paula, Paula, Deacon, Stephen, all of the servicemen and women who have fallen asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, for those who bear fruit and do good in His holy and well venerable temple, for those who serve and those who sing, and for all the people who are present and for who await your great and rich mercies. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Then ever guarded by your mind. We may ascribe glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
may the Lord God remember all of you in his kingdom, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gift I presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord mercy. The whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Peace and faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. For pardon and legion of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. For the benefit of for us and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our times in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Let us ask for the Christian name for life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant it all. For the reading of our most holy, glorious lady, the Theotokos, heaven, Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ, our God. Son, with whom we are blessed together with our Holy God, the white breathing spirit, now and forever, and today, Jesus, of ages. Amen. 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 Let us love one another, that with oneness of mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we need to one another in essence and divine. I will love you, Lord, my treasure, Lord, is my foundation, my refuge, my deliverance. Christiasta, Mr. Christ is in our midst. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only God, the God by the Father before all angels. Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Of one essence of the Father, on whom all things made, who for us men and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, who became man. And he was crucified for us in the conscious Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose according to the Scriptures, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, 
who has spoken through prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us turn right, let us send in all, let us be attentive that may present the holy offering peace. Oh mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. It is The Adi de Pisa Maria, Espirita Shenita, Chota Meyuta Jita, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God and Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
Tata blatoi mangata ita de parta jita Pioro no pioro upon us than upon the gift earth presented and make bread the precious body of your Christ Amen. Amen. and that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit Amen. So that they may be for those who part of them for vigilance of soul, remission of sin, communion of your Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer you this spiritual worship for those who have reposed in the faith, for the fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, Apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary. The great name of God. Among the first, remember, Lord, Metropolitan Deacon, our Bishop Nicodem, grant them to your holy church in peace, safety, honor, and health, and to lack of days, Christ will teach the word of your truth. They are Tacha, Silido, Darmen, Data, Jita, and Jita. And remember those whom each one of us has in mind, and all the people. May glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the majesty of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And to your spirit. Have 
commemorated all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the precious gift have presented and concentrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and our God, God, God mankind, having accepted them at His holy and celestial and mystical altars and offering of spiritual fragments, May return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. Ask it for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our life to Christ our God. Without condemnation to death, call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever to the ages of ages. and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your Holy God and like great and spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages.
Eran días de fin de la suri, apro unir, y de tierra cat, peis en la tronie. La sensida comse no ne, mother Lord, God is the Lord and has revealed himself to
partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all the day we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your eyes, having partaken of the holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks. To the Lord. Lord Help us any of us have mercy on us, protect us of God by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect day, holy, peaceful, sinless day, let us commend ourselves one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Give glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not, who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your church, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of light. So we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forevermore. Yeah. 
again we pray for the repose of the souls of the departed servants, Andrea, Andrew, and Victory, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God play their soul, where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sin, from Christ our immortal King, and God. And it, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trample upon them, and abolish the power of the devil, giving life to your world, give way to your souls of your departed servants, Andrea, Andrew, and Victory, in a place of life, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment, from where pain, sorrow, and sign have fled away. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin they had committed, in word, deed, or thought. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is true. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Andrew, Andrea, and victory, Christ our God, and we will offer glory with your eternal Father, who is without beginning, and you are our holy God and life, great and spirit, now and forever and the ages of ages. Your memory may be eternal, our brothers, worth your blessedness everlasting. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing and the mercy of the Lord come upon you by His divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Glory to you, O Christ our God. Glory to you. Glory 
may the Father who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercession of His Holy Word and Holy Immaculate Mother, the Holy Great Martyr and Trophy, Peter, George, George, Patron of our Archdiocese, our Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, our Patron Saint, and of all the Saints, have mercy on us and save us, for He is good and merciful and loves mankind. preach though. Sermon. No long sermon. So um, there is the different books. There are different books according to which we celebrate Orthodox Christians. Each period of year church calendar has its own collection of hymns. And during the Lenten period, the book which we use from where the chanters are taking their hymns is called the Striodion. And uh, I'm not going to explain why it is triodion, nothing, nothing important, but it is the book, special book, where all the, in order, all the hymns are collected and organized. They are set in order. So each day, each Sunday, each day has its own hymns and it's on order of hymns today and there this collection of hymns are taken from different part of greco roman world of the time eastern part of empire some of them are coming from Jerusalem, some of them are coming from Palestine, some of them are coming from Egypt, some of them are coming from Greece, and different parts of, part of Greece. Uh, some of them are coming from Balkan countries. So they are collections. Actually, there is anthology of different hymns. Actually, this, these hymns are formed during, mostly, during three to four centuries. We call it from fifth, sixth, until to ninth to tenth century. Then after they are collected together, and when you read it in Greek language, in or original, original language in which this, that those hymns were written, because the time, the common language of the Eastern Roman Empire was Byzantine Greek, Greek language. 
or medieval Greek. Like now, English language is common language of all Western, of Western countries. It's not, if I want to communicate with you, I need to speak, or with French, Germans, and other, I need to use English. It doesn't mean that we all are English men. We just are coming from different countries, but we, if you want to communicate with each, other, uh, with each other, we use English language. Same was the Greek language of those times, those times. And uh, so that's why there are in uh, everything was in Greek, but not because everybody who wrote those hymns were nationally Greek or something. They were just international. This language was international language. Like in, uh, if you go now in Slavic countries, they have one common church Slavonic language, which all Slavs and thus it is not Russian or Bulgarian or Serbian or other than Macedonian. The language is old Slavonic, church Slavonic language. The same was the, about the Greeks, but when you read that, those, those hymns in original language, you will see differences, different styles, different uh, grammar, different epochs there. But when they are translated, mostly they are translated Actually, one and the same language, like one or two or three maybe persons, they took and translated all of them in different languages. Like I gave to Ilya today the translation in um, Albanian, New Albanian, and he protested. It's not my, it was not my translation. But by, because he says that this is not so much clear Albanian language. And I understand it. Because I have here now the paper. It is, I took one of the central hymn from today's chanting. We did not use it here, but other churches, they, it's, it's very, one of the central point is there. And there is like one, two, three, four, five different translations. And there are more. In English, I just took two of them. One is the oh, Greek archdiocese translated. Another is how Osie had this. But there is other Osie translations other Antiochian translations, and many of others. And you see that there are differences in translation. So the meaning of this, let's see, let's read it, official OCA text. And it tries to convey all meaning of today's point. Today we commemorate the last judgment. You heard gospel after you heard the explanation of gospel by St. John Chrysostom. I took it from, found it, and I, it, you know how St. John Chrysostom, our patron saint, explains, explained it to those people there. So now let's go to read this part. Actually, this part of the order are taken from Syrian Arab writers, Syrians. So, in beginning, mostly the chanting was developed in uh, Semitic languages, Syrian languages, and Syrian musicians and theologians and assets, after they wrote also in Greek. This part is from the Syrian, and one of the oldest explanation of gospel, today's meaning. Probably it goes to 6th to 7th century. 
The meaning is this. Let me read in how it is also a translation. O Lord, supreme in love, in love, as I think upon thy, and they try to use this thy though language, like old English, where thy though is a singular, like in English now we have you singular and you plural. But old English, they had thy though. So they try to do this to express that we are talking singular. We, when we talk to God, we are talking one me here and one you. You one there. English language kind of hides it. It's not you or poetic way. But it's not thou. I don't agree with this, but it's okay. It's, it's, uh, I like more uh, that they try to translate more like in, in ancient English. Why you are doing this? It's, we are in contemporary time. So if you want this, let it uh, in Greek and uh, learn Greek. Uh, it will, would be easier then. Oh Lord, supreme in love, as I think upon thy fearful judgment seat in the day of judgment, I tremble and I am full of fear, for I am accused by my own conscience. When thou sittest on thy throne and bringest all to trial, none will be able then to deny his sins. For the truth will accuse him, and terror will constrain him. The flames of Gehenna, like the hell, will roar, and the sinners will gnash their teeth. Therefore, have mercy upon me, before the end, and spare me, judge most righteousness, righteous. So now we see that the God is represented here like, a, like an Eastern despot. Ah, he's angry. He will punish us. Oh, he is ready now to swallow us and send us to hell. And now we are begging. Oh, you are Shahin, Shahin, our Sultan, our Putin, or our like Saddam Hussein. Please take mercy. This translation stays this way. Now, then, other translation. And after we say that it is God of love, how it is God of love, they're punishing us and sending us in the fire for one. See, and I ate some, some food, not proper, and I'm sending for eternal fire. How, it is, uh, how we can speak about love here? Come on. Now, uh, this is official Byzantine, but Greek translation. Considering well your fearsome judgment, exceedingly good Lord, in the judgment day, I shudder and I am frightened in the accusations of my conscience. When you are seated on your throne and conduct the examination, no one can deny their sins. Accused by the truth and possessed by terror. Great will be the sound of the Gehenna fire. Then and the gnash, gnashing, gnashing, how to say? Gnashing of sinners. Therefore, have mercy on me before the end and pity me, 
O you, the most righteous judge. It's more close to the original. I wanted him to read the Albanian, but he denied it. So I don't know how it is. So I took his old Slavonic and also modern Russian. It's the same. Old Slavonic is very close to, so much close to original language that even Slav speaker they don't have to comprehend it. And they have trouble. Only now this is language is used in Russian churches, but others they translated the modern language. It's Ukrainian translated to Ukrainian. Uh, Bulgarians translated to Bulgarian, um, the Serbians translate to Serbian, I don't know, Macedonians probably use, I don't know which one. Uh, Romanians translated to modern Romanian, they try to have uh, Georgians, we have old Georgian, which is translated in the 11th century, 12th century, and it's also problematic, not every Georgian understands it. Only Russians, Georgians, and, and Greeks, they have their old languages left. So, what, how I might understand, I, that's why I speak the Greek, that's why I am. The, the, what is the mood there? This Osea translation is the scary god, ready to judge and jump on us swallow us and send us to eternal fire. The picture of eternal fire is not taken from Bible there. It is taken from Mazdianism. Zaratrustra. It is not Bible image. Old Testament image. But what, how, what it means? How old church felt it and explained it. And how the moderns now we slightly change the meaning towards the make people to fear. And actually it works against us. Because people are coming grieving because they say, you are the sadistic guys. We are, we are, you enjoy to punish people. So how we do it? So for Veron Sucritirion and Timumenus. I when I remember Remembering in Simumenos, Simame, is when I feel it. It's not only I remember. Simus, it's our emotion. When I put it in my emotion, so it means when I really understand it. Really, how it will be if I were, were standing in last judgment. And I am standing. Hyperagathe. It means above, above, and fully kindness. You are more than kind, excessive kind. Your is kindness, this it is kindness which we can express it, and we can feel it. So, I myself, thinking about my condition, I feel fear, I feel condemned, but you are above of human feelings and understanding. Here, I am who judges. I am judging myself. You are not judging me. I am judging myself. You, hyper kindness, above the kindness. You are unexpressible for kindness. Good. 
You are not judging me. I am judging myself. I understand who am I. And I understand what I deserve. That's why I come to you and apologize and say to you, you are not judging like me. You are not like human. You are God. You are kind. You are beautiful. You are love. So in other translation, it is translated as loving. Where they, where from they took the loving, I don't know. So they want to express this kindness. In Imerantis Christus, the day of judgment. Not court. Crisi is court. Also, crisi means critical. You know, critical point. You know the word critical. It is taken from crisi, from Greek. It means when you climb the point to uh, crossroad. I am, I am talking a lot more now because it is one of the crucial moments of how we need to understand the old fasting guy. <laughs> That's why I'm, I will not talk so much other time. So it is critical point. Critical point. When I remember the critical point, day will be critical point, critical moment. And this kind of days is actually every point, every day of our day, of our life. Frito, eptoume. Now it is frito. I scared. It's not fear. I scared. I frito like when you are doing this. And toume. It means when you begin to shake it. Like, you know, because it comes like, like revelation. In one moment. When you see something coming to you. So that day comes immediately. Without expectation. Poetry, poetically it is, it's not translated in another language. The poetically, wow, oh, when you are, when you are, wow, what happened? What is, there is no time there. The, that's why it says before, until I have time. Because that day, it, that day will, not, it is not about the time as we understand it. That day is last day. No other time. Time will pass. Eternity is there. This kind of time will pass. And so we are talking that, he, that, he, that, that day will come. No, this day is eternity already. And eternity already now. How does poetry express this in Syrian? Otan melis kathedes se epitothronosu ke piintin exetasin. Exetasin is is not that he's accusing. It is just examine. Examine doesn't mean that you accuse me. Examine means just see. Do you know? Or do you don't know? All other languages, they translate one of the same word. Accusation, this is not accusation. I accuse myself. He examines me. I in advance know that I will fail the exam. That's why I accuse myself. But no, it is not God who accuses you. You accuse yourself. God just examines. I am professor. I examine students. I am not accusing them. Their knowledge accuses them. Tote arnithet samartia zude exigisi alethias elenjusis. Again, here. Now, the time. Nobody can deny will the power or exigisi means when you find the escape. Nobody would escape. Why? Because the truth of reality will shine. Everything is clear. No exit. No escaping. 
I'm standing there, all the transparent. It's not that God comes with fire, but comes with light. And it light will shine. It was will not be any more the dark. No. Everywhere. Shine. Everywhere light. You are transparent. That's why you can hide. So what do we want? To make God to be dark? Darkness, night, no night. God is light. He's not punishing. Light. Alephes, Lenkusi. So this light is true. And this true will also examine. Not punishing, how it is translated. Not Judging. Just showing. Que dilias catechusis. Dilia, all translations are translated like fear. But dilia is cowardness. Cowardness. Who speaks Greek here? Raise hand. Dilos anthropos. Tine. Yes, coward. You became coward. When we say, let us dare to call you father, we will not dare there. We became coward. Again, again, I became coward and I can call him like Judas. When he denied Jesus, he became coward. If we say, if Judas Iscariotis would come to God and apologize, who would, he would be accepted like Peter accepted. Peter himself, three times denied. Judas, one time denied. But Peter was accepted. But it, he, because he dared to come and say, yes. I don't have a right. I was mistaken. How many times we fear to accept this? Ah. Sometimes we know that we are not. We, we, we need to have courage to say, forgive me. Nobody takes from us this courage. We are taking from us. Mega de ihusi tote pirto tienis amartoli de vrixusi. In translation, in Greek trans, uh, uh, translation, it's much better. The river, how it is? The great will be sound of the Gehenna fire and the gnashing of sinners. Another translation says, will, flames of Gehenna will roar and the sinners will gnash. Actually, Greek says, it is roar and make a great sound is when we do this. We are gnashing. Our gnashing of teeth is the sound of fire. Because this fire is light of God. It does not have scary sound. Because we are cowards, we are afraid, we see who we are, we are gnashing. And this gnashing is the sound, not the river itself. How this, Greg, the church took these icons and symbols from very different culture and transformed because in different culture it actually is melted iron river and this melted iron river 
how our Syrian fathers were transformed totally different. It is not that God makes fires and Satan's and judges the hell. We are making hell. Our cowardness makes hell. We transform light of God to fire. How that fathers in sixth century took all cultures, Syrian, Arabic, Greek, Bible, and gave their explanation how we people in 20th century, we are going to become, to transform our God like Easter despot. And calling ourselves to serve this Easter despot. That's why Orthodox countries, most of them, they will they create their totalitarian country. Because we don't go and read our prayers. And if I talk now there. Half of you judge me because I, eh, he is talking too much. How to contact other way? Translation are, are not so good. We don't know original language. We don't have time to comprehend it. And we think that God prepared <laughs> the melted iron river and putting you there because you make makeup. Woman, if you make makeup, you are going to eternal hell. A monks are hey, saying this because God hates makeup. You need to cover your head. Totally different. Totally different. He says, My conscience is actually calls to our conscience. Guys. Let's examine ourselves during these fasting days. See who we are. Conscience. Synesis. In Greek means when you know your knowledge. When you know who you are. Reality. Know yourself. Yes, motto, motto of Delphos. Know yourself. So, during these fasting days are calling to know ourselves. And they meet Pascha, the God who forgives us and accepts us. This is journey of love. This journey of hope. Not to fear. Journey of courage. Next time I will call talk speak about you what it means when in liturgy we call. Make a dare to call you father. This dare, what is dare means in original, and like it's very philosophical. This dare means to have courage and take whole risks on myself. I am judging myself, but God is so kind. God bless you. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. Please. Run, run, run. He doesn't allow, she doesn't allow anybody to come until you come. <laughs> okay, okay. Captain. Captain. <laughs> Captain.